Tim, and he was, he was part owner in the Porsche Chalet garage, so he worked there. Oh, yes, mom had to. She, she, like, she had to do wherever they needed her, that's what she did. She went to clean the cabins or help with the laundry or, or yes, yeah. Because my dad wasn't, didn't live up there all summer. He, he himself was a pilot. He had a Luscombe. And he would fly in and out because he was working at the, at the garage also. And so he would fly in and out, you know, come in maybe once or twice a week and come in and spend the night. And then he'd have to come back to you because then, of course, he had to pick up mail, you know, um, mail and things. So um, my mother was there all summer long. She was the director. Well, yes, yeah, she, she was kind of, my mother was a very reserved person, so uh, her sister, my aunt was really the forceful person. She's the one that told the guides where to go and what to do. And, and yeah, my aunt Lila, yeah, she was she was quite the gal. And uh, when when the when the some of the guests, because um, most it was fishing, so they didn't really there wasn't too many other activities. But every once in a while they'd have a poker game, an all night poker game, and uh, there was my aunt Lila was right in the middle of it. <laughs> Once in a while, they have a I can remember that a little all night poker game. And can't you imagine in those days smoking in the, in the days? Uh, <laughs> and two brothers or sisters? No, I don't. I'm the only oh. child. Yeah. Wow. That's why you have to learn to do things by yourself. Do you ever remember any Native Americans? I don't. I don't. Um, um, Frank Tudloff used to guide for us, and that's probably all that. But I like any of the Indians no. from, from Sturgeon or Kanye no, Peak paddling through. No, I, I don't remember. Anything. Do you remember any of the logging with the big floats in front of camp? The log floats coming by? No, there no, there was, there, there was no logging when we were there. Okay. It was all done with already. No, I don't remember. Yep, weren't the, uh, the outboards back in the 40s and 50s, I mean, were they little motors? Or did they have 10 horses and 15 horses oh, back then? The guides had maybe 10 horses and 15 horses. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I was allowed to use a three horse. Oh, okay. Yeah, but then they used that on canoes. I mean, they, you know, they had square sure. canoes. And we did have people that would, most of them, most of the guests that came, you know, were, were just by the state at the resort, you know, during for the week or whatever. But every once in a while, we'd have we'd have a, somebody did a canoe canoe trip on a Hunter's Island. I can remember somebody doing Hunter's Island once, and um, every once in a while, that people would go out on a canoe trip. Did you guys have boats stored on the lake like Bill did like yeah, on yeah. the other uh, the boats on the uh, the wood boats on Argo? And then into Darkey, do you remember those? Um, you have yeah, I can remember. I can remember they had a boat on what they call Bark Lake. Bark Lake, it's a yeah. Small bar, it's a small, um, um, yeah. uh, clear water bass lake. Okay. And oh, what was the next? Robinson. Robinson Lake was the next. Yeah, I can remember remember them doing that. Yeah, but um, yeah, they, they did that. But then, the, then, the, then the, they didn't have to take a, take a canoe across. Carol, Helen, you were big in the band. Did you get to play your musical instruments up there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> sure. Sure. No practice in the summer. Is that what I? Uh, yes, I guess so. <laughs> I also wanted the junior junior drum and mule corps too when I was young. So I did get. Yeah, when I was when in the eighth grade, I got to come down a couple times too. <laughs> Because I've seen movies with you in them. That's yeah. right, the drum and yes. <laughs> so I imagine that after you were finished with the summer, you couldn't wait to get back to school and be involved. Oh, in yes, yeah. <laughs> you, you were, because I missed out, you know. I mean, my friends would talk about going to uh, Birdside <clears throat> Lake and Birdside, the post. And, you know, and it, that was kind of a gathering place for, for young people. And I never, never did any of that because I was always up at the lake. Oh, it was always nice to come back. Did you ever bring up any of your friends? Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. I, periodically, not not too often. Sometimes I'd get to come down and get somebody like Teresa. Teresa's up. Teresa Jamnik. She was a good friend of mine. Betty Ryan. Um, yeah. Once in a while, once in a while they they'd come up there and and uh, they would spend a couple of days. It was always nice to have them do that. Did you look forward every summer to going to camp, or did you, would you rather have stayed home? Um, <laughs> well, you know, 
I, I think I was a little grumpy, especially <laughs> as, as I got a little bit older, like in you know, fourth and fifth grade. I got a little grumpy that I had to go up there. But you did. Mother said, you're going. You went. You, you didn't do anything. But you know now, I give my eye tooth to be up there. <laughs> I would. Did yeah, you ever have fireworks up there on the 4th of July? No, we didn't. I don't ever remember having fireworks. You know, I don't, uh, strange. We didn't, we didn't do that. Yeah. Helen, how about, were there um, uh, any wealthy people or famous people that came to the resort oh, that yeah. you got to know? I mean, I always hear these stories from Basswood Lodge. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Paul Harvey. Oh, Paul Harvey. Harvey was up there as our guest. The rest and, of the uh, story. <laughs> the rest of the story, that's right. And in fact, there's a few pictures here you might want to look at. And, uh, and Governor Luther Youngdahl was at the time. He, he and his wife were up there. And um, uh, I can remember, uh, I, I'm Ed Shave, and maybe somebody remembers him, but he was a sports writer for the Minneapolis Star. I mean, he came up. And those are some of the that I remember. Um, well, a few, a couple generals from the army, you know. Yeah. Yeah, general. Yeah. And Dr. Dr. J. P. Graha. Do you remember any monster fish being caught? I just can't imagine that a crooked there wasn't a thirty oh, yeah. or forty pounds. Especially, you know, uh, I can. Well, I don't know, forty pounds, but I can remember big northerns. That's what I can remember, you know, huge northerns. And I don't think I brought any pictures like that, but not, yeah, yeah. Now, one in particular to stand out? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you know, you know. Behind the like draws or whatever. You know, and, and when I was at Cook Care. Waiting for you. How did they get there? Did they take their fish home? I mean, you pack them, and uh, they, uh, yeah, you had the ice from the ice house, and you pack yes, them. Exactly. Um, every every night when the guides would bring the, 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 the guests back in, they would have to also clean the fish. Mm. And um, I, I think they had to leave. Like, didn't they even have to leave a head on or something? There was some rules. Yes. Yeah, skin. The skin or something. Back in the day, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, they would you know take the controls off and. Um, Yes, and then the guys would clean them, and, and they pack them in ice, and, and that's how they got them home. Well, did you eat a lot of fish for your we, meals? They had fish. Oh, yeah, we had fish up there. Yeah. What were some of the menus? Tell me some of the, like, was it huge, like, huge breakfasts, like, oh, the breakfasts were always, you know, hearty, hearty yeah. breakfasts, eggs and, and oatmeals and bacon and all that <laughs> stuff that isn't good for you anymore. <laughs> 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 Did you guys ever smoke fish for the guests? You know, you I don't remember them doing that up no. there. No. Yeah. The, do you see any sturgeon ever? Do you remember? Not sturgeon. No sturgeon. No. Not in Kirby Lake. Maybe there is now. On iron. Know. No, there's sturgeon and iron uh, at, yeah. at Mattery. Yeah. But. <clears throat> Oh, you know, there's probably a lot of questions that people can ask you afterwards. Some people have to go back oh, to work. Oh, sure. I understand. I just, uh, it was great. It was Thank so you. enlightening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She didn't get to eat. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also have all these fun.